Hi there, let me demonstrate the game mechanic that I'll be explaining in this video. So if I come to this ladder, if I click up, the ladder is too high and the character can't climb. So you might have noticed that there is a piece of ladder right there and I can pick it up and I can place it down and also I can throw it this way. And I explained that game mechanic in the previous video. But in this video, the game mechanic that I'll be explaining is when you come close to the letter, then if you press E to place it down, you can see that the letter got repaired and now I can climb up that letter and get the key. And that's the game mechanic that I'll be explaining in this video. I already mentioned that I did the pickup mechanic in the previous video and that's the mechanic that I started with for this game. To repair that letter, there isn't that much more code that you need to add to that pickup. Most of the work is in the setup and the way you go about approaching this mechanic. That's mostly where the work goes. Now there's lots of different ways you can do that. In this video I'm just going to show the one way that I did it and I hope it's going to help you guys out. Click on the like button if the video does help out. That way I get a little bit feedback from you guys. So let's start looking at the pieces that are involved here. So this is the letter piece and there's nothing special about this piece. It only needs to have a box collider for the pickup to work. So that's why it has a box collider and also it's under the pickup layer because that's the layer that I look for in the pickup script that is attached to the player. And that's pretty much it with this letter piece. It's using the exactly the same thing that we discussed in the pickup video. Now the actual main setup for fixing this letter is inside here. This is a game object that I have. I just called it missing letter. And the missing letter, it doesn't have anything on its own, but it has two things inside here. So one of them is set inactive and that's the letter piece. We'll get to that one in a little bit. And the other one is the place here. So again, this place here, game objects, is really simple. It has a box collider 2D and it is a trigger. You can see the box right here and basically the trigger is here so that when the player gets close to this spot, if I click E on my keyboard to place the letter down, instead of the player placing it down right in front of him, he actually triggers the logic to fix this letter piece. Now to make sure that I'm working with the right trigger, I have a tag here, place here, and that's the tag that I use to make sure that this is the interaction that I want to make with this trigger. So if the player holding the piece of letter and he approaches to this trigger spot, when you hit E on the keyboard, what it does, it turns off the place here so that that trigger goes away and turns the letter on. The setup for the letter that I went with is by adding a box collider to D. It's also a trigger and it's there to let the player controller to know that the character can actually climb the ladder. And the box collider is actually stretched from the bottom to the top. Now let me demonstrate it again after explanation of how the setup is before we go into the code. I'll turn on the gizmos as well. And it's hard to see but there's a box right there of the trigger. So if I approach that, enter the trigger. If I click E right now, it doesn't do anything. And if I climb the ladder, it doesn't do anything because I don't have that missing piece. So let me go and pick up that missing piece. Now if I get close in this trigger box and click E, that logic of placing that piece runs through. And now if I click up, the player starts climbing up. So maybe that helps you out to understand a little bit more. But let's go and take a look at the pickup script. So from the top, you can see that most of the things are the same. I'll go through the changes in a little bit, but basically this is the main script that I added. I had to create another game object, missing letter, and that is so that I can store that interaction with that trigger. So on trigger, all I do is check for the compare tag. Here's that place here tag that I mentioned before. If that tag is matched, then I just store the game object of that collider. On trigger exit, I do the opposite. So if it matches, then I set the missing letter to null. And here's the logic for placing that missing letter. So what I do is I destroy that item that I'm holding, which is the letter, clear it to null so the player can pick up new items. And then the logic right here, a little bit messy, but basically I get the first child, which is that hidden letter. 
I turn it on and then I disable the missing letter part, which is the trigger. Clear the missing letter object. Now the place where I trigger this logic is right here at the place where I'm trying to place the item down. If you watched the previous video, this will be familiar. So when you click E, I check if there is an item that I was holding, then I just trigger this logic, which will just place the object in front of me. But now, since we're adding more logic to our game, meaning we want to do something different when we're close to a letter that has a missing piece, then I check for that missing letter and then I trigger the place letter logic. If I'm not near a missing letter trigger, then the logic of placing the item down will be triggered. Now inside here, currently I'm not really checking if I'm actually holding a letter piece or a key, which will create problems in the game, but that's an easy fix. And what you can do is just check if the item you're holding has a tag of letter. If it does, then you can continue your logic. So you can use the same approach for other things. For instance, if you want to do something with a key and a chest, you can use the same setup and just check for the chest and the key. Of course, you can go further in and make it more generic and all of that, but I'm not going to be showing that in this video. One thing that I want to mention is if you decided to use the pickup logic that I showed in my previous video, make sure that you also turn off and turn on the Collider 2D. When you place the item down, you want to turn the Collider 2D back on. When you're picking it up, you want to turn off the Collider 2D. If you don't do that, it might create issues in some cases. So just letting you guys know. So let's go and test it out again. One thing that I have to do is set the tag to letter now because I'm checking for that as well. Let's play through the scene again and open that chest box at the top. Looks like the chest had the subscribe button. So don't forget to subscribe if you liked the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.